Hello, YouTube. I'm Jake from Peyton B and their friend, and today is part two of the flea market haul. Part one will be linked down in the description. But basically, this is where um we're going to be trying out all of the discs which I got <laughs> so first off here is um let's see here oh yeah Rango we got um yeah we got two movies and then we have seven albums. So, yeah, we have quite a bit of stuff to go through. Can I skip the previews? Good. Can I skip these previews? Okay. I skip this. <laughs> I skip this too. Skip that. Oh, grief, you gotta sit through like, what, five things before you actually even, like, what, get to the menu? No, six. <laughs> Dude, we got a theatrical version and an extended version. What? Um. Okay. Is that it? Like, is this the menu? Oh wait, no, I guess it's not. Uh, I guess now we're in another menu. Uh, there's a back button. Uh, yeah, so... Man, I gotta admit, though, it's quite the cool menu here. Oh, wait, I forgot I have a remote. I could just use that. Instead of making you guys have to listen to the loud clickety-click noise. And Yeah, there you go, um... Alright. Let's put that back in there. So, guys, um... I forgot what the name of this app is called. But, um... Oh, whoops. Um... There's this app where you can, like, scan your movies in, so you can keep track of your movie collection. And, um, currently I have listed on there as having, um, I think it was, uh, 102 movies, I think. Maybe 103, I don't remember. But, um... Yeah, if you're wondering what my 100th movie was, um... I can give you a link in the description <laughs> to my last flea market haul, the $20 one. And I think that will, um... 
explain enough for you guys. Skip, skip. Good grief, there's so much of this crap to skip through. Skip! Oh, wait. <laughs> Thought this was gonna be another ad. I guess we got another cool menu here, at least. Thank goodness. I'd be disappointed if we didn't. Like, um... Barry. Disappointed, I could even say. All right, yeah, so there's Ghost Rider. And then, now, we have, um, all of the music CDs to sift through here. Well, first off here, we have the Osman Cometh. This is disc one. Let's see what we have for our track list here. Um... Yo, what is this? <laughs> Uh. Um, okay then. Let's skip to track nine. Shot in the dark. <laughs> Whoops, I just dropped it. Okay, so, um, yeah, which if you guys don't know, that's the last track of, uh, The Ultimate Sin. Which, uh, admittedly, I always get sad when it comes on. Because, well, it's the last track. I like the, like, same way that I get sad whenever I hear Eclipse. Because that's the last track of uh, Dark Side of the Moon. Yeah, so this one here, though, it has, like, 15 tracks on it. And then, uh, our bonus disc has... Uh, let's see here. Yeah, we got two songs, and then... We got interview with Ozzy, nineteen eighty eight. That that was a while ago. But um, yeah. I mean, if you don't know, at least I don't know, like three of the tracks here on this list. Um, then, I don't know what rock you've been living under, but whatever rock it is, don't try inviting me to it. <laughs> Alright, next, 
We got Eliminator by ZZ Top. Let's see our track list here. Yeah, admittedly, um, let's see what I want to play. Um, you guys ever seen the music video for Shark Dress Man? Because if you haven't, then, um, you should. It just fits so perfectly with the song. You know, I will admit though, um, honestly, the way that I found out about ZZ Top was from, uh, Back to the Future 3. Cause, uh, I don't know, I'm hoping to goodness there's nobody in the audience here who's not seen the Back to the Future trilogy. Cause, um, if you haven't, then you're not living under a rock, okay? You're living under a mountain. Alright? But, um, yeah, as you hopefully remember though, um, ZZ Top. They make a little guest appearance, which um, I just find very funny, especially with how fitting it is, honestly. Alright, I'm guessing if I get any copyright claims on this video, it's probably going to be that song, but in my... Humble defense, you see, I am, um, I'm professionally reviewing these, okay, so therefore, therefore, um, it is acceptable. Alright, next, we have Big Ones by Aerosmith. Let's look at our track list here. Nah. Uh, See, skip to okay. Admittedly, I do like a lot of these songs on here, but <laughs> okay. Um, this song here. Admittedly, I just found it <laughs> on, um, this is the radio, and then I went to look it up on YouTube, and I'm gonna be so serious, that's how I got into Aerosmith, <laughs> back whenever I was in either 5th or 6th grade, so... I don't know, you can, um, you can form your own opinions on such. You can make your assumptions. I know, right? Um. Okay, um. Yeah, I mean, admittedly, yeah. Probably been uh, bands that I've been a fan of for the longest. Um, well, Aerosmith, Bon Jovi, Kiss, Ozzy Osbourne, uh, Guns N' Roses. And of course, you can't forget Queen. Yeah, because I've been fans of them since elementary school. And then, I've also been 
am a long-time fan of Dio. Because I found out about the song Holy Diver back in middle school. Alright, so next we got Look What the Cat Dragged In by Poison. Is it just me or is this disc a little crusty? Ugh. Um, okay, well, crusty disc aside, let's look at our track list here. Of course you guys know my favorite song from Poison is, um, let's see, track seven. Also, I just have to say, though, the cover art for Look What the Cat Dragged In, probably one of my favorite album covers where it features the band members. I mean, just look at them. Okay, because, um... I'm gonna be so serious. I kinda actually can't recognize them with the makeup. I mean, I know this here is Bobby Doll, because he's the one, well, the only one with a different hair color than the rest. This is obviously brown. Then again, sometimes it looks black, so I don't know. And then this here, of course, CC DeVille. Because, um, he has the, like, very, very, very light blonde. And then, I'm pretty sure this one here is Brett Mitchell's. And then this one here is Ricky Rocket. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if I'm wrong about that, I will literally keel over. Um... Yeah, and then, I mean, on the back, though, we also have another nice picture of, um, the band here. You know, I don't know. I'm gonna be serious. I don't know how these guys are straight. Because, um, they look like a group of polyamorous lesbians. <laughs> and... Of course, they're the polycule, okay? But I mean, yeah, here we have C.C. DeVille. That's Ricky Rocket. And then Bobby Doll. No, this is Bobby Doll. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this little fella. And then that's Brett Mitchell's. My brain was... Not very much brain -ing. Um, all right, we have next. Oh, yes, we have Diver Down by Van Halen. The real Van Halen, not the, um, not the fake one. The, the fake Van Halen is, um, Han Valen. Watch out for them. Let's get our track list here. I've never listened to this album in full, honestly. Um, I mean, I know Oh Pretty Woman. I don't know, is this working, guys? Like, trying to subliminally convince you to listen to half-decent music? I mean, okay, because I know Poison, <laughs> um, 
I mean, they're probably not the absolute best. But seriously, I mean, they're a lot better than modern music here in our modern society. And, um, yeah, that's just my personal opinion. Also, you guys remember this. I thunk it over. Well, more like whenever Ray put this ring on my finger. Because I showed the rings to Peyton B and Ray, and they loved them. And Ray put the ring on my finger. So, yeah, but then she also said, and then Peyton B agreed. I should eat this and see if I die. So, let's get this open here. I don't even know what it is. I mean, I'm sure you guys looking at it. Probably now, but... Um... I for one don't, so... Yeah, literally, what is this goofy stuff here? Um, I guess let's take a bite out of it. Well, um, I don't feel funny yet. I mean, it was, it was good. So I guess thank you, old creepy man, for the free strange cookie. Enough for that. All right, next we got Incesticide by Nirvana, another album in which I haven't listened to in full yet. Let's see our track list here. No silver. Oh yeah, it says on here AAD, by the way. Which is based. <laughs> I mean, honestly, like, even though I'm not, like, that much into grunge, I do still like Nirvana, though. Now, listen, Chains, um, I mean, eh, I'm okay with them. And I mean, like, Pearl Jam. Yeah, I'm okay with them. Um, I don't know. Is there is there literally like any other grunge other than that? I don't know. I know some people will argue like Nirvana is pretty much the one grunge band that you know actually made it. Which I mean, you know, they might have a point. To. Because, I mean, if you think about it, you know, if, um, if glam metal is, uh, the dinosaurs, then grunge is the meteor. And, um, will I explain myself? 
Um, no. But I mean, yeah, I mean, pretty much after Nevermind came out, I'd say. Because that was like Nirvana's big hit album. Uh, yeah, because whenever Bleach came out, it actually didn't make as big of a wave as Nevermind did. Let's see, track 10 is I Can't Drive 55. Also, I like the fact that, like, um, the little 55 on here, it's got the X. Because it's supposed to look like a road sign. Which is cool. So there's so many little symbols here on the side, though. Like, we got plus. We got a, a kawaii course squiggly. We got the little up thingy. Uh, oh, that's because it's different producers. Wait, produced by Sammy Hagar and Edward Van Halen? Wait, what? Are you guys seeing this? What? Guys, I think this here is, um, the Han Vagar. I mean, yeah, Han Vagar. That's what this is. Because I swear. <laughs> My question is, though, like, how and why? Like, what? Oh yeah, as you guys can see, I did take the little stickers off, though, um, and it left the nasty sticker residue. Which, as much as I appreciate those stickers being color-coordinated to the album art, though, I don't want to have to remember that I paid, like, only five dollars for these. Okay? Um, but, yeah, we don't have any more discs to show off, so, um, yeah, uh, if you guys like this video, give us a like, give us a subscriber, and comment down below if, um, um, I don't know, what's your favorite album that I took a look at? Do you even know any of these? Do you, do you listen to at least decent music? I hope so, if you're here. And, um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!